G'day marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We're watching Zootopia today. It is absolutely miserable outside. It is raining, it is cold, it's also humid because it's Australia. It just feels yuck and I'm in the need of a pick-me-up movie. This is full of colors it looks like, it has talking animals. I think it's gonna be pretty hard to not enjoy this movie and that's exactly what I'm needing. I remember this coming out, I think when I was like 16. I remember some family members watching it here and there and I would peek in and watch a little bit here and there, but I didn't really watch the movie for myself. So here I am, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna take this whole thing in, see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh. <laughs> okay. A world where prey were scared of predators. Oh. Urge to maim. No. And maul. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Death. Wow. <laughs> I'm assuming that's her parents. Vicious predator. Meek prey. Are they spelt vicious wrong? I can be an astronaut. <laughs> nice. Today I can hunt for tax exemptions. I'm gonna be an actuary. Dang, dude. How old is he? I am going to be a police officer. Oh, come on. Let's go. That is the most stupidest thing I ever heard. May seem impossible to small minds. I'm looking at you, Giddy. <laughs> Got him. The great city of Zootopia. Anyone can be anything! Mm. That kid carried the show with his playing. We gave up on our dreams and we settled. Right, Bon? Oh. That's the beauty of complacency, Jude. If you don't try anything new, you'll never fail. <laughs> what? There's never been a bunny cop. No. Bunnies don't do that. Never. Then I guess I'll have to be the first one. Yeah, come on. I love this character. 275 brothers and sisters changing the world Mate. one carrot at a time amen to that that would be horrible it is upsetting when parents are genuinely looking out for you but it hurts so much some of the stuff that they say cut it out Gideon. Uh, what are you gonna do cry hey cut it out nice costume loser kindly return my friend's tickets us predators used to eat prey killer instinct still in our dinner i'm pretty much sure it's pronounced dna <laughs> don't you don't scare me, Gideon. Hey! Cry, little baby boy. What a coward, Cry. man. Oh! You don't know when to quit, do you? What a jerk. Stupid carrot farming dumb bunny. <laughs> Mate, he's got some hang ups, man. Obviously, some self doubt. <laughs> Here you go. Oh! Wow, you got our tickets! <laughs> what a legend. He was right about one thing. I don't know when to quit. <laughs> Who is this? She's amazing. <laughs> You're gonna have to master all of them before you hit the street. Shivers, man. Your dad, Bunny Bumpkin, was Yikes. Okay, so she genuinely has a huge disadvantage. Okay. Oh. Healthy toilet. <laughs> You're dead, Fluff Bunny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Quit and go home, Fuzzy Bunny. No, don't give up. Don't give in. I also love that immediately after a show about equality and like how much the world has evolved, you immediately get a scene where a predator is preying on someone smaller. It's almost like it's just happening to a different capacity. <laughs> nice. So she has to think smarter to have an advantage. Okay. My Mammal Inclusion Initiative produced its first police academy graduate. Let's go! Very first rabbit officer, Judy Hopp. Officially assign you to the heart of Zootopia City Center. Ooh. This has been my dream since I was a kid. It's a real proud day for us little guys. Make room, will you? <laughs> Come on. Oh, I love how we're getting little subtle bits as to how prey are still kind of in subtle ways being preyed on. <laughs> Pretty much all predators and Zootopia is full of oh, them. Yikes. And are the worst. It's in their biology. Gideon Gray was a jerk, happens to be a fox. Mm, right, I see what they're doing. So it's kind of like a little metaphor for like racism. I, I see. This is fox repellent. Okay, that's all she Check this out. Oh. When is there not a need for a fox taser? Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Oh yeah, the hug, come on. Nice. 
I love you guys. Here come the water <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah, thanks for raising me. That's that's about it. <laughs> no thanks to the encouragement. Man, anyone who can get through a childhood where barely anyone kind of believes in them and they can become like this, mate, I have so much respect for. Population. <laughs> that's crazy. Love the product placement there. Damn. Look at this. Uh, I'm assuming this is kind of like what they were talking about, the different priests, the different districts, sorry. <laughs> I'm loving the designs. That is amazing. So they've created some sort of way of creating these ecosystems for different animals in the city. That's incredible. Right, rainforests. Cool. <laughs> I'm just dumbfounded by the designs in this. It looks so real. Right, and this is like the heart of the city where it's kind of not really swaying towards one or the other in terms of like the ecosystem. <laughs> oh, just to give us some scales, she's so tiny. <laughs> you could literally just be squashed. <laughs> Little traffic jam there. All these designs, man, are incredible. It's so imaginative. Like, what would happen if animals all lived together in a city? It's amazing. Try also, that song was catchy. Welcome to Zootopia. And welcome to the Grand Pangolin Arms with Charm. Ah, uh, yes, Charm. I'm Judy, your new neighbor. Yeah, well, we're loud. Don't expect us to apologize for it. <laughs> Damn, welcome to the big city. I know what this feels like. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you don't need it. Yep. Gosh, man. The ferret's got to her. Down here? Hi. Oh, am goodness. <laughs> you are even cuter than I thought you'd be. Bunny can call another bunny cute, and other animals do it. Oh, okay. Flabby donut loving cop stereotyping you. Oh, Dang. You've actually, you've actually um, got. There's a. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who you went, you little dickens? Oh. <laughs> That poor little buddy's gonna get eaten alive. Dang, man. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I didn't realize how much attention there'd be on like the different species and stuff. <laughs> She's got a strong arm to be able to push her whole chair back. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine, uh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Some new recruits with us I should introduce. I'm not going to because I don't care. Uh, right. We have 14 missing mammal cases. This is priority number one. So there are a bunch of detectives. And finally, our first bunny, Officer Hop. Okay, come on. Parking duty. Dismissed. Oh, no. Here we go. I was top of my class at the academy. Just don't care. Not just some token bunny. Well, then writing a hundred tickets a day should be easy. Damn, all right. I'm not going to write a hundred tickets. I'm going to write 200 tickets <laughs> before noon. Mate, I love her attitude. She's just so optimistic. She has such a larger than life personality. She can just conquer anything, it seems. Oh, she can hear pretty easily too, hey. I'd understand if they didn't put her on a case straight away, but to put her on parking duties a bit, mm, they should have given her just like something a bit more important, you know? Like, nothing to do with her being a bunny, but just being new, you know? Boom! 200 tickets before noon. Bah! <laughs> 201. Hey, watch where you're going, Fox. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I imagine you can't just get rid of your natural survival instincts that easily, even in this kind of world, right? By the way, the colors and just the animation of this is just gorgeous. It looks so good. Oh. Ew, no. Oh, oh, no. I would not be having that. Want to buy a jumbo pop for my little boy. Oh, he's so tiny. There aren't any fox ice cream joints in your part of town. He loves all things elephant. Wants to be one when he grows up. 
Oh, he's so cute. We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. But why? So beat it. Like, what is he genuinely doing? Hello? You're gonna have to wait your turn like everyone else, Eda Maid. Actually, I'm an officer. Ooh, got him. Your customer's aware they're getting snot and mucus with their cookies and cream. <laughs> An ungloved trunk is a class three health code violation. Yeah, they knew that. I could let you off with a warning if you were to glove those trunks. Finish selling this nice dad and his son a, a jumbo pop. <laughs> a jumbo pop. She's so nice. I don't have my wallet. Please don't be mad at me. Keep the change. She's so wholesome. You're a great dad and just a, a real articulate fella. <laughs> it's rare that I find someone so non patronizing. <laughs> Anyone can be anything. Oh, boy. I tell him that all the time. Two paws. Yeah. Damn. How could they carry that? <laughs> bye bye, toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> yeah, that would have made my day too. Yeah, in the Sahara district, it looks like. Hey, little toot toot. Uh, buddy? What, they making juice out of it? <laughs> wait, 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 what was that? What's happening? Oh, you're kidding me. That is amazing. <laughs> and they all just follow? Okay, okay, so this guy's really good at making some money. All right. Hey, in a world where you can get a cheap ice block that's that big, like, hell yeah. What's with the color? The color? Uh, that's redwood. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed, because you bought that ice block too. You kiss me tomorrow, I'll bite your face off. <laughs> what? Wait, so what kind of fox is that? You liar. It's called a hustle, sweetheart, and I'm not the liar. He is. <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. Selling food without a permit, transporting undeclared commerce across row lines. Declared commerce, and I didn't falsely advertise anything. Ooh. Red wood with a space in the middle. Wood that is red. Okay, so he's legally ripping people off. <laughs> okay. Tell me if this story sounds familiar. Dude, just sold blueberries. Hey, look at me. I'm gonna move to Zootopia, only to find, whoopsie, we don't all get along. Dream of becoming a big city cop? Double whoopsie. <gasps> and whoopsie number three, Z, no one cares about her or her dream. <laughs> You're from Bunny Burrow, is that what you said? So how about a carrot farmer? Damn, this guy knows people. You can only be what you are. Sly Fox, dumb bunny. Mm. Right. And that's not wet cement. <laughs> You'll never be a real cop. Jeez, mate. Maybe a supervisor one day. Hang in there. That's awful. I mean, I feel like he's kind of half right. There's a, there is, it does seem like there's a lot of prejudice so far in this movie. Everybody hurts. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's awful. There's so many times we have a bad day like that and you're heading home, right? It starts raining or something and it's just like, why? <laughs> Does that count as product placement? If it's like an Apple phone, but it just has a carrot on the back. <laughs> hey there, Jude the Dude. How was your first day on- Jude the Dude, wow. Judy, are you a beater mate? No, oh, oh, no, no, this is just a temporary thing. Oh, oh she's not a real cop. Our prayers have been answered. Oh my gosh. She needs to sit down with her parents and tell them what hurts her. Those meters aren't gonna made themselves. Bye-bye. Gosh. I'm sure that's really real for some people watching this though. It feels like a failure. <laughs> Shut up. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, but it might be worse. <laughs> How did they hear that? My mommy says she wishes you were dead. Oh, wow. I am a real cop. Real cop. Yeah, dang. A... What a letdown. My shop, it was just raw. He's getting away. Oh, are you a cop or not? Yes, yes. <laughs> She's excited too. Come on. Catch me if you can, Cottontail. This actually is a good thing. I feel like she's tailored for a pursuit like this. This is Officer McCorn. We got a 1031. I got down. Oh, oh damn, okay. Look at this! It's like a tiny city! 
I wonder how these little rodents get treated though, you know? Like prejudice wise. It must feel strange to be the big one this time. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Flatfoot. <laughs> that was amazing. Far out. Did you see this leopard print jacket? <laughs> they got Target advertisement. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Come to Papa. <laughs> I'm so glad she got him. <laughs> I popped the weasel. Pops. Ooh. Reckless endangerment of rodents, but you did stop a master criminal from stealing two dozen moldy onions. Those are a crocus varietal called Midnicampum holocythias. Grew up in a family where plant husbandry was kind of a Shut thing. Your <laughs> I don't care. Your job is putting tickets on parked cars. Yikes. But sir, if Life you... isn't some cartoon musical. Your insipid dreams magically come true. <laughs> Let it go. Ah. Uh. Wow. They just had to say it, didn't they? She worked hard to get here, though. We have two beautiful children. Our detectives are very busy. There's got to be somebody to find my image. I will find him. Ooh. Without his permission? <laughs> yeah. Find my image. He should assign her to it, but doing it without asking for his permission? You're fired. What? Insubordination. Now. I mean... <laughs> not be taking the case. I heard Officer Hops is taking the case. Ah! Assistant Mayor Bellwether. <laughs> Let's not tell the mayor just yet. And I sent it to do that. All right, well. Damn. Stick together, right? Like glue. <laughs> just call me if you ever need anything. All right, bye-bye. That's amazing. Came in clutch. 48 hours. Yes! But you strike out, you resign. Dang, dude. Two days? Deal. Splendid. Here you go. One missing otter. Leads none. <sighs> Witnesses none. Shivers. <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't stake your career on cracking this one. Uh, actually. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just bro, thank you. <laughs> oh. What does that mean? It means I have a lead. Yeah, right. What are the chances? It's me again. Hey, it's Officer Toot Toot. <laughs> Hey, carrots. I think your $10 worth of popsicles can wait. I make 200 bucks a day, Fluff, since I was 12. That's pretty good. Do you know him? I know everybody. And I also know that somewhere there's a toy store missing and stuffed animal. So why don't you get back oh, to your box? Shivers, man. This guy's brutal. Did you just boot my stroller? <laughs> you are under arrest. Hurting your free wings? Felony tax evasion. Yeah. <laughs> His face! One million four hundred sixty thousand, I think. I am just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. It <laughs> that was good. That was good. Five years jail time. It's my word against yours. Two hundred bucks a day, Fluff. No! Actually, it's your word against yours. <laughs> and you're going to help me find this poor missing otter. Only place you'll be selling popsicles is the prison cafeteria. <laughs> it's called a hustle, sweetheart. Let's go! She hustled you, girl! You're a cop now, Nick. You're gonna need one of these. <laughs> nice, we're gonna get a buddy cop movie. Love it. I only saw where he went. It's not exactly a place for a cute little bunny. Don't call me cute. I love this. I love where this is going. This guy that's treated her like absolute trash and they're buddying up. <laughs> It, they, I love these sort of stories where you've got like two polar opposite characters that like work together. Oh. Um, hello? <laughs> the fox's face. Because we're all good on bunny skull cookies. Uh, no. <laughs> Emmett Otterton, you may have frequented this establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, shower. You should talk to his yoga instructor. I'd appreciate that more than you can imagine it'd be such a. Oh, you are naked. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can be anything. These guys, they be naked. Wow. On the other side of the pleasure pool. The pleasure pool? <laughs> yeah, I guess this would be weird for her, right? It's funny because as an audience, you know that animals are naked all the time. But like, after watching 30 minutes of this movie, it feels so odd. Here we go. 
Mm. As you can oh, see. Oh, come on, man. That feels so odd. Emmett Otterton, been coming to your yoga class. I have no memory of this beaver. Yeah, he was wearing a green cable knit sweater vest, paisley tie, sweet Windsor knot. <laughs> This guy's got great memory. You didn't happen to catch the license plate number. Sure. It was two, nine, zero, three. Wow. Wow. This is a lot of great info. Thank you. Oh, I wish I had a memory like an elephant. <laughs> My guy doesn't know his own potential. Oh. And seeing as how any moron can run a plate, take that pen and bid you adieu. I can't run a plate. Ooh. <laughs> if only there were a moron around who were up to the task. <laughs> you can't keep me on the hook forever. Well, I only have 36 hours left to solve this case. So can you run the plate or not? Come on, man. This is probably more excitement than you've had in years. Flash is the fastest guy in there. You need something done, he's on it. Oh, is this that scene with the sloth? They're all sloths? <laughs> I saw this going around for a while. Why are they all doing this? I do love that it's following the stereotype that DMVs are slow. Oh. You said this was going to be quick. You were saying that because he's a sloth, he can't be fast. I love how he's nitpicking her, like, little bits of philosophy. Hey, Flash, I'd love you to meet my friend. Darling, I've forgotten your name. <laughs> I am doing just fine as well as I can. Wow. What? Hang in there. Can I do? Well, I was hoping you could play for you. Well, I was hoping you could. Today. Run up oh. We are in a really big hurry. I love that he's not even saying the fastest thing, like the fastest version. I'm doing just as well as I can is such a drawn out way of saying I'm doing well. Two, nine, T, H. D, zero, three. D. <laughs> that was so fast. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? No. <laughs> he's such an ass. What do you call? A three-humped camel. Nah, <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> Don't. No. Oh, no. Uh, three-humped camel. Three-humped camel. Pregnant. <laughs> Such a dumb joke. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Ah. 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 The paw on the bench, too. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Priscilla. Oh. A three-humped camel. Uh. Great, we got it. Arrgh! That would be infuriating. Here. Yes, yeah, yeah. Here, you here. go. It's registered to a limo to Otterton in the limo in Tundra Town. I love you. I owe you. He's still nice to him. You wasted the day on purpose. I have a fake badge. I would never <laughs> impede your pretend investigation. But this otter is missing. Well, then they should have gotten a real cop to find him. Wow. Fail somehow make you feel better about your own sad, miserable life? It does, 100%. <laughs> At least he's honest. Here's your pen. Hey. Ooh. See you later, Officer Fluff. Wish I could have helped more. The thing is, you don't need a warrant if you have probable cause. Shifty, low life climbing the fence. Wow. She's so crafty. I feel like they both have similar sort of intelligence. They just use it for different things. Carrots? Carrots? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Okay. You can start to see he's a little bit more invested now. Emmett Otterton. He was definitely here. Polar bear fur. Rat pack music. Fancy cop. The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. They call him Mr. Big. Oh. Not leaving. This is a crime scene. Well, it's going to be an even bigger crime scene if nah. we're leaving right now. Ah. Oh, shoot. How about you forget you saw me for old time's sake? That's a no. Oh, <laughs> shivers, man. Yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah, I guess polar bears would be the best at being bodyguards, right? They're the worst bear. I may have sold him a very expensive wool rug made from the fur of a skunk's butt. <laughs> oh, sweet cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would you do that? Is that Mr. Big? What about him? Is that him? He's pretty big. <laughs> you are kidding me. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be <laughs> It's like the Godfather. <laughs> I trusted you, Nikki. I welcomed you into my home. 
<laughs> oh, it's so good. How did you repay my generosity? A skunk butt rug. <laughs> What's with the costume? <laughs> Sir, I am a cop. Mime? She is a mime. <laughs> Everyone's judging her so much through this. My evidence puts him in your car. I'm going to find Damn. out what you did to that otter. I have only one request. Say hello to Grandmama. Uh, I some Gosh. I'm not saying nothing. And you never will. If you oh my gosh. Her accent. I love your dress. Thank you. Huh. She's nice even in the face of death. Done me a great service. I will take your kindness. Pay it forward. Damn, just like that. Man. It's handy when you help people. What is that? Auditon is my florist. <laughs> because he was attacked. He attacked. Scared my driver half to death. He's a sweet little otter. My child. <laughs> Deep down, we are still animals. Mm. Talk to the driver of the car. Lives in the rainforest district. I wasn't expecting this movie to be such a, like a mystery. It's great though, because we're getting to see all the different ecosystems. Just want to know what happened to Emmett Otterton. You should be asking what happened to me. Ooh. Down on all fours. Oh. He was a savage! Shivers, man. Wow. There was no warning. He just kept yelling about the night howlers. Yeah, he went full, like, yeah, full savage. The night howlers. Exactly what we are here to mm. talk about. Smart. He's good. He's good. He's starting to catch on now. He's way more involved in this. Clever fox. <laughs> Dumb bunny. <laughs> buddy? Uh... Run. Run! Oh shoot, he's got whatever the flippin' other thing had, the otter. What is wrong with him? Yay! Shivers! Oh, was that a yelp? Officer Hopkins, dispatch! Are you familiar with the gazelle? Angel with horns? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, answer it! You are one hot dancer. <laughs> wow. They even show apps in this movie. <laughs> It's to hunger. Oh! Wow. I hope they take this seriously. <laughs> Shivers, man. Carrots. Carrots. Oh, dang it. No. Buddy. <laughs> he stayed? <laughs> oh. So I'm just going to give you a little personal space. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, whatever you do, do not let go. <laughs> No, you what? <laughs> wow. That was lucky. You saved my life. That's what we do with the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little avatar reference there too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, this should be good. The suspect is up there. He and this jaguar, they, they went savage, sir. Animals don't go savage. Oh, of course. Now it makes her seem even worse. I'm not the only one who saw him. You think I'm going to believe a fox? Ooh, the prejudice, man. Badge. It's not been two days. It's still the night. Get out of here, man. But sir, we Badge. Uh, no. What did you say, fox? <laughs> no. <laughs> she will not be giving you that badge. Come on, come on. Here's oh. the thing, chief. You gave her the 48 hours to have... Yeah, exactly. She's just listening. We have a very big lead to follow and a case to crack. Good day. Yes, literally. Thank you for sticking up for her. That was amazing, man. You can tell he already cares about her. He's just so like, you know, he's a fox. He's just burying his feelings. Very sly, but he's got so much more underneath. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Never let them see that they get to you. I was small and emotionally unbalanced like you. <laughs> All I wanted to do was join the Junior Ranger Scouts. Right. I was going to be part of a pack. Ready for initiation? Oh, it's so cute. It's like Judy's story. I was so proud. Raise your right paw, liver the oath. I, Nicholas Wilde. He's so cute. Helpful and 
trustworthy. Even though you're a fox. What? Oh. Hey! No! What did I do wrong, you guys? What the hell? What did I do? <sighs> you thought we would ever trust a fox without a muzzle? You're even dumber than you look. Oh, this poor kid. Oh, I can see why it's trust issues, man. Oh. I learned two things that day. I was never going to let anyone see that they got to me. If the world's only going to see a fox ifty and untrustworthy, there's no point in trying to be anything else. You are so much more than that. Oh. Boy, look at that traffic. Didn't... Wow, okay. That was, a, that was a moment. I'm glad you told me. The jam cams... It's okay. No, 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 just, there are traffic cameras. <laughs> Never happened to that Jaguar. The traffic cams would have caught it. Pretty sneaky slick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, come on. Very important. I love how ready she was to listen to him. She was so like vulnerable and like, I'm listening, like tell me. I feel like they're gonna be very, very good friends. Raising sir, if I could just go, go. <laughs> We need your help. She's not exactly being treated great either, it seems. I never get to do anything this important. I think Mayor Lionheart just wanted the sheep vote. Oh, <laughs> wow, because there's so many of them. Let me know what you find. I think when she goes to sleep, she counts herself. Oh, shut <laughs> I feel like uh, Nick's character, like, he, he'd be a good detective. Look at these dum-dums. Oh! Bet you a nickel, one of them's gonna howl. There it is. Night howlers! That's what Munchus was afraid of! Oh! I bet they took Otterton too. Find out where they went. Well done. I wanted to avoid surveillance because I was doing something illegal, which I never have. I... <laughs> which would put them out right there. Wow. I think you'd actually make a pretty good cop. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute, their friendship. I love that he's kind of got like the know-how, like he knows Zootopia well, and he just understands people better, but she's just very like good at her job. <laughs> he's taking this cop thing way too seriously now. Oh. Yeah. I didn't start it. <gasps> <laughs> that is genius. She's smart, man. I love how much they're doing that you need permits for, but... <laughs> Ooh, that's mysterious. You know after you. You're the cop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All clear. He's already treating her like her, his best friend. It's so cute. Huge, huge claw marks. I mean, what kind of- Holy oh, shivers, man! Holy moly. Ooh, we got a bear. Is that- They found him! My name is Officer Judy Hobbs. We're gonna get you out of here now. Hey. Guess he's in no rush to get home to the missus. <laughs> he needed a break. Chief Fogo handed out 14 missing mammal files. They're all here. She found all of them. That's incredible, man. I don't want I want answers. Oh, that voice actor. The only animals going savage are predators. How do you think they're going to feel about their mayor, who is a lion? Oh. No! Someone's here. Her darn parents, man. Great. Great. This couldn't get any worse. That's it. I'm dead. You're dead. Everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, shivers, man. You're kidding me. <laughs> Don't land like that. Oh, gosh. Carrots, Pops, Judy. Damn, bro. He got genuinely freaked out. Hot dancing. <laughs> Wait, is that Gazelle? No. <laughs> oh, Don't you see I'm working on the missing mammal cases? Officer Hops just called. Found all of them. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> the timing was impeccable. I was trying to protect the city. We still don't know why this is happening to destroy Zootopia. Yeah, it could actually make the prejudice that everyone has against each other even worse, you know? <laughs> He's really embraced that cop life. I'm so nervous. Press conference 101. Answer their question with your own question and then answer that question. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the case? Well, was this a tough case? Yes, it was. Uh... We did this together. 
it would be nice to have a partner. That is so precious, man. She wants him to be a partner. In case you need something to write with. Oh, that's got me in the feels, man. And it seems like no one's believed in him before. She's so pure. I love her character. Officer Judy Hopps. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Are they all different species? <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes, they are. Okay. He's so proud of her. Predators are the only ones going savage. May have something to do with biology. Oh, I don't know if you should bring that up. You know, something in their... DNA. P people are gonna take this as gospel, you know? Thousands of years ago, predators, aggressive hunting instincts, they seem to be reverting back to their primitive savage ways. Damn. Oh, gonna try? oh, yeah. He's a predator too. We at the ZPD are prepared and are here to protect you. Yikes. I don't think she really knows what she's saying. These predators may be reverting back to their primitive savage ways? I just stated the facts of the case. That wasn't the facts. It's not like a bunny could go savage. But a fox could, huh? You're not like them. There's a them now. Yeah. Makes you think you need to carry around fox mm -hmm. repellent? Are you afraid of me? You think I might try to eat you? <gasps> Dang it. I knew it. <laughs> just when I thought somebody actually believed in me. Huh? Probably best if you don't have a predator as a partner. Wow. Oh, and he signed it too. Oh. Nick! Nick! That's horrible. One week after ZPD officer Judy Hopp connected the violence. To wow, so she started it. Meanwhile, a peace rally organized by Pop. I heard that the reporter um changes based on the country. This is not the Zootopia I know. Zootopia I know is better than this. We don't just blindly assign blame. It's crazy though, because Judy's one of those characters who's just so open-minded, yet even she's a, like subject to being prejudiced at times. It's almost like it's deeply rooted in so many of these people, like subconsciously. The new mayor wants to see us. Why? It would seem you've arrived. I'm sure she probably doesn't feel that way after losing a friend. They thought it would be better. A predator wasn't the first face that you see. Dang, and I'm sure he blames her too a bit. Um, <sighs> I trust you. Chief Bogo and I want you to be the public face of the ZPD. Yikes. I'm not a hero. I came here to make the world a better place. I think I broke it. The world has always been broken. That's why we need good cops like you. Oh, that was really, that was a nice way to apologize. I don't deserve this badge. Wow. Thank you for the opportunity. Damn, bro. I understand why she feels that way. And I think it's actually very honorable to feel like that role is above, you know, what she did, but she has to kind of make it right. She can't just run away. She needed to do like a few speeches, you know, apologize for what she said and change the narrative. She could have really been an ally almost for the predators. Hey there, Jude. Jude the dude. <laughs> Remember that one? Thanks, dad. Why did I think I could make a difference? You've always been a trier. Speak of the devil, right on time. Oh. He's our partner, and we never would have considered it had you not opened our minds. Wow. That's awesome that they've changed that much. I, I'd just like to say I'm sorry. I had a lot of self-doubt. I was a major jerk. Oh. Oh, I know a thing or two about being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's changed so much. Don't you run through that Mindy Camp from Holly Sepias. Well, now there's a $4 word, Mr. A. <laughs> we'll just call them night howlers. Uh, wait. Oh, get hold on. About those flowers, Judy. But I don't like the little ones going near them on account of what happened to your Uncle Terry. He went completely nuts. He bit the dickens out of your mother. That's what's making them savage? Night howlers aren't wolves. They're flowers. Mm. The flowers are making the predators go savage. Oh, keys! Keys, keys, keys! Are nice. Come on. She can still fix this. I love you. Bye! <laughs> I'd be so confused. You catch any of that, Bond? Oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. I thought she was talking in tongues or something. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, the accent made it ten times better, too. Oh, Nick. Night howlers aren't wolves. They're toxic. What's he doing here? Wow. Isn't that interesting? Mm. Yeah, just because you figured that out doesn't mean you didn't have prejudice against him, you know? I wouldn't forgive me either. I was ignorant, but predators shouldn't suffer because of my mistakes. Mm. You can hate me, and that'll be fine. <laughs> I was a horrible friend. I really am just a dumb bunny. Damn, man. What a speech. Just a dumb bunny. 
That's amazing. I'll let you race it in 48 hours. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Oh. That's such a pouty like hug. Are you just trying to steal the pen? <laughs> Are you standing on my tail though? Oh, oh, oh. That was adorable. Oh, just the giggling trying to get the carrot. Know this guy? Uh huh. I told you I know everybody. Oh, so it's all connected. He was the one who got the produce at the start. Hey, if it isn't Flopsy the Copsy, what were you gonna do with those night howlers, Weselton? <laughs> Duke Weselton. Wow. Make me. Wanna bet? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Why are you helping her? She's a cop. The godmother to my future granddaughter. Aww. Really part of the family now. They offered me what I couldn't refuse. Money. Ah, of course. We got a drop spot underground. Just watch it. Doug is the opposite of friendly. He's unfriendly. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, gosh. The weasel wasn't lying. <laughs> Far out, mate. They got the whole operation going on. So what's the point of all this? Like making these animals go savage, huh? What's the mark? I hit a tiny little otter through the open window of a moving car. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I'll buzz you when it's done. <laughs> oh, so it was always him. All right, Walter and Jesse are back, so I'm leaving. Walter and Jesse. Better have the extra foam this time. <laughs> what are you doing? We need to get this evidence to the ZPD. There it is. Got it. No, all of it. Wait. Oh, mate. I agree with Nick. They should have just taken the briefcase. It would take a miracle to get this rust bucket going. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> Would it be premature for me to do a little victory toot toot? One toot toot. <laughs> I love how much fun Nick has. Cross that off the bucket list. <laughs> Yikes. I may have to rescind that victory toot toot. Maybe that's just hail. Oh my gosh, this guy's witty. Incoming! Ooh, shivers, man. Please stop! Do not stop this car! <laughs> Dang, that's a good look. <laughs> head down, head down! <laughs> oh, shucks, man. Come on. Speed up! There's another train coming! Speed up! Oh. Stop the train! Oh my gosh. Need some help? <laughs> oh! oh Shivers, no. oh, mate. No, no, no. Yikes, man. That's dramatic. Maybe some of the evidence survived. <laughs> you were saying far out. We lost it all. Oh, except for this. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Ow. <laughs> yeah, why does she keep punching him? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Forgot about Memus. There it is. Jenny. Mayor Pellweather. The hell is she doing here? You did just a super job. How did you know where to find us? I'll go ahead and I'll take that case now. Oh my gosh. Take this to the ZP. Yep. She is the mastermind. I. Run. Run. These twist villains, man. Get them. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Ooh. Oh, that made me cringe. What? Blueberry? Uh, pass. <laughs> Get it to Pogo. I'm going to leave you behind. That's not happening. We'll think of something. I love how he he's so loyal to her. Like, he never leaves. Prey outnumber predators 10 to 1. Will be unstoppable. I don't think so, but sure. Huh? Over there! Oh boy, please. Dame's fast! Gosh. Great. What are you gonna do? Kill me? He is. Ah, shucks. Preds are just biologically predisposed to be. I hate how she's just monologuing. It's every time it frustrates me. By savage fox. Jeez, mate. Fear always works. I'll dart every predator in Zootopia to keep it that way. No. Gosh, mate. He looks so terrifying like this. What the hell? Blood. Uh -oh. blood, blood. I was like, there's no way. I think we got it. <laughs> we got it up there. Laid it all out beautifully. Blueberries. Those are blueberries from my family's farm. That's amazing. It's my word against yours. And I'll dart every predator in Zootopia to keep 
Get wrecked. Come on. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. Boom. <laughs> no. It's lucky they all turned up at that point. She could have killed her if no one was there. Did I falsely imprison those animals? Well, yes. Yes, I did. Classic doing the wrong thing for the right reason kind of a deal. Mm, yeah, exactly. Thank goodness. Damn it. I bet Otter Hugs is so nice. <laughs> I thought Zootopia was this perfect place. Real life's a little bit more complicated than a slogan on a bumper sticker. Mm-hmm. Amen to that. We all have a lot in common. And the more we try to understand one another, the more exceptional each of us will be. Mm. Biggest elephant <laughs> to our first fox. Yes. Try. Try to make the world a better place. That change <laughs> starts with you. Come on, Nick. Starts with all of us. Oh, she's so proud of him. I love it. We have some new recruits with us in our first fox. Who cares? <laughs> You have your own line of inspirational greeting cards, sir. Shut your mouth, Wild. <laughs> Wolford, undercover. Ah, the wolf in sheep's clothing. Parking duty. Dismissed. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Yeah, come on. Are all rabbits bad drivers? Just you. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love me. Do I know that? Yes. Yes, I do. That was cute. <laughs> I love this man. Sir, you were going 115 miles per hour. <laughs> yes. 100 yard dash. Nick. Wow. So that's how he got his name. That that's funny. That's really good. I messed up tonight. Oh, actually getting a concert from her? But I'll just start again. What is she meant to be like Shakira or something? Fun hit in the ground. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Man, that was really good. I loved that. I think it's so cool that uh, Judy and Nick, I don't know, it's just destroying the stereotypes, you know, just her being this rabbit and him being a fox, being best friends. That was so much fun. I had an absolute blast. I feel like for me, the highlight was easily um, the world building and just the way that the stakes just felt so high just because of how vivid the world judy was living in was the way we got to see her from a child go from this town in was a bunny burrow and then move to like the big city and getting to see all the ecosystems that were there how it worked i just feel like so much effort went behind how it would work and you could see like the intricate little details on like like how they could make it happen in a city like that it was so cool i loved it so much it was so colorful the animation was gorgeous it it really did feel like reality sometimes with when you didn't see the animals walking around sometimes some of the shots i was like that looks really real um which is you know ha hats off to them to the animators for making that so good um i really love the story it was i think just the characters judy and nick were done so well their friendship and their chemistry was just so alive and just organic that was what I was kind of latching on to through the whole movie. I think that's what sells the movie for me, is just their friendship. Uh, and as much as there are some political things that the whole movie's focusing on, and the prejudice that we have against each other as humans, I do feel like if you strip all of that away, the whole buddy cop thing and just seeing their friendship grow throughout the movie is the heart of it for me. And that was the 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 big thing that i enjoyed it was so cool just seeing like this very optimistic but naive character come to the big city and bump heads with this guy who's used to be like that but then he had to learn the hard way that they're living in a world that's full of prejudice and he'd like lost courage and hope and he just you know sold his sold himself short essentially so you see these two opposite characters that have gone through life one who's gotten lucky i guess who's been determined and has gotten through everything and the other who's had you know drawn the short straw right uh and you get to see them be able to teach each other like nick was able to teach judy that um you know she's being a bit naive and that the world's more complicated than what you're than what you think you're being very naive 
where Judy was able to teach Nick that there's more to him, that he can achieve the things that he wants to achieve. And I just, I love that friendship. And at the end, even the way that he said, you know, you love me. And she said, yes, yes, I do. I was like, oh my gosh, could they not sell this friendship more? Like, it's amazing. I, yeah, and it made so much sense. It didn't feel forced. I was like, yeah, that's a real friendship right there. They had sparks, like not immediately, obviously straight away, they were very rude to each other. Well, at least Nick was rude to Judy, but it was, yeah, it was nice to see that enemies going to friends sort of story. I had a fantastic time watching this movie. Hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.